In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, I'm sure you are well. We are now in the new year. Allow me to greet you. Happy New Year. I'm sure you are well. I'm also sure that you prayed for me as we crossed over into the new year. I also prayed for you. In fact, the intention or the objective of this um, short reflection is just to prepare ourselves for this new year. And largely, the center of it is my assurance that I want to pray for you. Please allow me to pray for you. Share with me your prayer concerns and intentions. Let me see where I can be able to, to journey with you spiritually because I will and because I did promise you. So again, Happy New Year. It is my joy that uh, we will be able to journey together. We thank God also that uh, we've been able to come to up to where we are, the New Year. In fact, um, and I, I did remind you during the crossover mass that um, we may have wanted to demonize 2020. But you see there is something unique about the whole situation that the Lord has given us a chance to stand and be counted and narrate whatever that happened in the year 2020. That by itself, it is a blessing. That the Lord has given us a chance to think about um, the year that was. And we say thank you in a very special way because the year that was, uh, we can count so many blessings that the Lord has given unto us in contradistinction with a push to remember only the bad things. I know, or so I read, that the human brain largely remembers the negative things that happened in our lives. I would want us to train our minds to keep on counting the small blessings such that even when things are not adding up, we can be able to pick something good that happened. As we prepare for the new year, three areas are key. One is how to prepare ourselves spiritually. Um, remember, this journey is a journey that we are doing with God, and frankly speaking, we will not make it without him. And therefore we need to ask, spiritually where do we stand? In terms of prayers, in terms of biblical literacy, in terms of everything, in terms of growth. Because as I have already said, spiritual growth is not something that just happens. It is something that we must work for. And we must be deliberate. We must be proactive to grow spiritually. The other area is the idea of preparing our minds. We read in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse number 2, write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run, that he may run who reads it. Habakkuk 2, Habakkuk 2, verse number 2. Now, Historically, we talk about um, resolutions. We made the resolutions, I'll not do this, I'll do this, and the other one. And uh, experience has shown us that we can make resolutions and then fail to honor them. And we are the people who made them for ourselves and for our own benefits. To that extent, therefore, we are reminded that as we enter into the year 2021, don't just make resolutions. The book of Habakkuk is telling us, write down your vision. Let me ask you, my dear friend, what is your vision for the year 2021? Is it written down? If it is not, kindly write it down. 
such that you have somewhere to be able to, to go back and refer. This is my vision for 2021. And the vision is something that is visited very often. Just to make sure that we do not digress. Many a times we digress because we are in a quite an amorphous journey that is not well defined such that um, everywhere we go we seem to be getting somewhere. Remember when you have no direction for where you want to go in life every destination is home. That is sad. We may want to be, we may keep on moving. In fact, we can be busy bodies. We are doing something, but you see, nothing can be, can be defined to the extent that we are doing. There's a saying in Latin, Bene Curit said extra viam, that uh, our running may be very good. I mean, good by all standards, but the direction may be wrong. So let us not just be busy in the year 2021 going nowhere. Let us be busy going somewhere. And for us to go somewhere, a vision needs to be written down. And finally, the area that we need to prepare for is financially or economically, if you like. I need to announce today that we are about to start the novena for men and the women in business whose theme will be doing business with god and it will be the very first on the menu for 2021 to help us organize ourselves i'm informed or so i read again that over the festive season we quite spend we spend quite a lot and sometimes we forget that january is coming now, as I speak to you this early morning of the fourth day of January in the year of our Lord and Savior 2021, our children are starting to go back to school. Some will be going back today, Monday the 4th, the others tomorrow, Tuesday the 5th, the others Wednesday the 6th, Thursday the 4th, 7th, the whole of this week our kids will be going back to school. That tells us that on the 11th, that is next week, our kids will be back to school. Now, children going back to school, and again, going back to school in the corona time, where we are getting the overhead that have never been there, because now we've got uh, new items on our budgeting for our children. We've got the budgeting for face masks. <laughs> Let me tell you. I, I took some kids for shopping, my brothers and my sisters, sons and daughters. Sometimes I try to, sometimes I take them for shopping when they're going to school. So I took them to, uh, to, for shopping. Um, I think that was on Saturday. Yes, on Saturday morning, the second. And I read whatever it is that they have been asked by the school to buy. And because it was not the first time I, I have taken them for shopping, I realized there are some dynamics that have not been there. That means a parent who, ha who may not have uh, perfectly, as it were, prepared for the school opening, it may be a hard task. Face masks is not something that was there. Some schools will be able to ask for hard sanitizers. Other schools are asking for many other things. And all for the preparation of our children, for their protection. It is for the good of our kids and for the good of our families. The schools are doing this in good spirit to make sure that our kids are protected. So the question I was asking is, eh, as we danced over the holidays, did we remember the extra expenses that we will incur as the kids go back to school? That's a good question. And that is why, young as the year is, we need now to get ourselves well organized financially and economically so that we can be able to stand and start well as it were. 
Those are the three areas that we need to prepare for uh, this new year. Allow me now to, to make an announcement <laughs> for the coming year. And I want to say that we did decree, as it were, on the night of 31st, that this year we want to dedicate it for prayers. Every day of this year is the day of prayers and all for the good of our families. I've always said that we cannot go wrong when we pray for our families. And even when you pray, when you have nobody or no family to pray for, just say a prayer. Throw it. I use a concept of throwing. Say a prayer, throw it. Ask God to do the placement and he will. I did say that uh, as we do the novenas, we must remind ourselves that we are not doing novenas for 9 days, 21 days, 31 days, or whichever days. We are in a situation of perpetually praying for our families, an eternal novena if you like. And therefore, on that front, we have got the following. I need to, to announce the following five novenas that we have to start preparing for. The first one is novena for men and the women in business. And I did say that the theme is doing business with God. This is going to be a great novena. This novena runs from the 10th of this month to the 3rd of uh, next month, February. It is going to be 25 days of prayers. Next week, I'll tell you why the choice of 25 um, in connection with business and finances. So the whole of next week, I'll be able to give you the, the reflection concerning the novena. And I hope and pray that we can sustain that for the rest of the novena as we did for children. We will try. And therefore, keep yourself, um, keep on the, be on the lookout. The poster will be, will be put today towards the evening. And so that you can be able to keep on asking for the novena to be sent to you via email and WhatsApp. Uh, for those of you who are around Nairobi, you're also able to get yourself prepared to get a hard copy of the document. Again, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit heavy. So we need to prepare ourselves for that. So between today and Saturday the 9th, I will hope and pray that all of you who want to participate in the first novena, you will have received the document. So the poster will be ready today at 3 on Facebook and the other areas. The novena will be ready for distribution on Wednesday. So today and tomorrow, you send the requests. So that finally on Wednesday, uh, the technicians and the, and the assistants will continue. We now send the novenas as it will be directed from the office. So kaidre, 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 get yourself ready for that. After we are done with this novena, which will be on the 3rd of February, and given that the following month we shall be having our kids sitting for their Form 4 and Class 8 exams, we will do a um, novena for the candidates. So the next novena will be for the candidates, which will run from a date that will be, will be prepared up until the first day of the exam. After we have done with that, and keeping the spirit of Pope Francis, who did um, declare the year 2021 as the year of St. Joseph. It is the year that we will do quite a number of reflections concerning men. And therefore, the third novena will be a 31 days novena for men. Men and the boys. We will dedicate those 31 days 
to remember men with their issues and situations, our boys with their issues and situations, we will do that for 31 days. After that, we will do the 31 days novena again for all women and girls. For women and girls with their issues and circumstances, for our girls with their issues and circumstances, we do again that for 31 days. After that, then we will do a 21 days novena for the seagulls, all the young men and women who want to get married. That should be around uh, sometimes, I think, in May or June there. And then from there, I'll be able to explain to you what happens. Of course, immediately after that, the next novena should be the novena for married women as they pray for their husbands, and then we continue with that. Remember, successively, we have done three novenas for the year 2020. That was for the married women as they prayed for their husbands, for, Sigo, uh, for, for all the Sigo mothers, and that was again a quite a successful, and the 21 days for all our children. And again, we did those three successfully, and we hope and pray that again the novenas will do them towards uh, as we enter into the second part of this year. Now, this is, in a nutshell, how the year looks like. Now, if, because we are a family, if there is an area that you may think that maybe Father CK is forgetting this area, Kindly let me know. Just write down there, or you can write to me directly on my phone. You have my number, 0721-421-139. But you can just write there, down there, on Facebook. I'll be able to, uh, to read, or on, um, or on um, YouTube, I'll also be able to read. An area you think that we may need to commit to prayer. I, have I may not have exclusively been able to, um, to outline all the novenas. But if you think that there is an area that as a family, as an online family, we can pay attention to, kindly let me know. You can write to me directly or you can write on the page. I'll be able to read and then later, again with your guidance, we'll be able to see how we can be able to implement this. This we will do for the greater glory of God. Dear good people, may the almighty God bless you May he give you peace. May your um, steps be ordered by him. May he bless the good work that we do and our future intentions all for his greater glory. And may the almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive day, the fourth day of January. Asante, and again, Happy New Year. Thank you.